So, tell us a little about yourself. What do you do for a living? And why do you want to know? Well, it's just a way to break the ice. Can't you tell? Well, you look successful. <clears throat> Thank you. But I don't know what kind of business you're in. You could be the CEO of a company. You could be Good. work on Wall Street. Good. Yeah? Good. I'm close? Close. Okay. Um, Where do you live in the city? Um, when I'm in the city, I live in my penthouse. Oh. And when you live in the country, would, do you have a house or do you uh, have I don't go there very much anymore because both my parents have, have left us and it's no need for me to be there alone. Okay. Are you close to any family members, any siblings? No. And what's the most important thing for you at, in, in your job? What is your objective or your something that you, where do you see yourself in three years, three years from now and five years from now? Um, the favorite part about my job is firing people every day. Um, in five years, three years, I see myself as the leading shareholder and owner of the company I just inherited from my dad. Okay. And did your dad show you the ropes? Um, no, he didn't. He actually wouldn't hire me. So I went and got a job with his, uh, his lead competitor, I guess. And okay. um, he recently passed away, which made me lead shareholder in his company. But I worked long enough to become CEO of the company I work for. And what did you bring? What, in terms of ideas or philosophy, did you bring to the business when you became, when you joined the business? Um, it's a very hard question, very tough question. I brought my demeanor. I have a pretty tough street demeanor. Um, I grew up in New York City. Didn't really see the streets much because my dad had a limo um, assigned to me every day. Um, but I did see enough to make me not ever, ever trust another human being beside myself. Um, to get things done on my own and not to trust another soul to do anything for me. Okay. To penalize those who need to be penalized. And how, what's the, what's the form of uh, retribution or penalizing that you, did you employ or use? Pushing people off buildings, um, pushing people in front of cars, throwing knives, uh, rolling over people or having my limo driver roll over people. And your limo driver's okay with that? Oh, definitely. That's why I hired him. Okay. Uh, what do you care about most? Waking up in the morning and taking a hot shower, um, doing sit-ups, doing push-ups in the shower sometimes. Um, that must be a big shower. Oh, definitely. Um, well, you said it was a penthouse apartment, so... Okay. Olympic side shower, of course. Yeah. I, I really enjoy looking at myself in the mirror. Um, so you just, like what you see? Oh, definitely. It's just something about me that I just... I don't know. I can't... I can't deny myself, I guess. So it feels good to be me? Definitely. I mean, to be you? Oh, today especially. Why today? Um, because I... killed a few people before I came in. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just a joke. Hey, to me, anything's possible. Right. Uh, do you like the fact that you get away with stuff that other people don't get away with? I do sometimes get away, but not all the time. Right now, I'm in fear of, of being arrested or hanged in two different countries. <laughs> What's um, the thing you like most about killing? I don't really like killing. I just get like getting rid of. Um, killing is not really my thing. I just prefer to get rid of. Um, don't like seeing dead bodies, don't like seeing women, don't like seeing men at all, um, don't like people much. Prefer to see them all dead. Um, do you, when, you, when they're dead, do you put them in plastic and hang them in a closet? If, if I can, or I get my limo driver to do it. Um, or call my lawyer, have him make up a story, uh, something. 
Are you afraid of being caught? I mean, like, really caught? I'm very afraid of being caught, but I will not be caught. And why is that? Because nothing I do really happens. It's all in my imagination. Okay. Yeah. Does anything make you sad? The idiot next to me at breakfast this morning pulled out his business card. I don't want to go any further. Oh, you didn't like the font on his card? It was worse than that. Oh, the texture of the card, the oh, color? Even worse than that. Okay. Uh, is there anything that you fear? I fear nothing or no man. I just don't want to be caught. I'm not saying that I've done anything. I just don't want to be caught. Okay. Do you want to be caught? I don't want to be caught. No, I, but probably that's a universal truth, not wanting to be caught. Uh, when you die, how do you want to be remembered? I'm not going to die. Oh, you're, you're immortal. We're working on a, on a serum that will give me life forever. I'm not going to die ever. I'm never going to die. Um, I have enough money to pay for a few lives, as a matter of fact. Oh. Um, cryogenics, um, the fountain of youth, we have that in our backyard. Wow, that's fortunate. Yep. Did you invest in that company? No, my dad did. I would never invest in something so stupid. But you, you don't hesitate to take advantage of it. He left it for me. What do you want me to do? Did you say how you wanted to be remembered? I don't want to be remembered. That's right. You don't want to be remembered. Why? Because I want to live forever. I told you. Oh, that's right. Because you you want to be immortal, fountain of youth. Got it. I told you. Okay. I apologize. I'm sorry. Your apology is accepted. Thank you for giving us your time today. Oh, you're so welcome. I appreciate it. And if you would like, you can come over there tonight and I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs>